Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a wash and go routine that I recorded a few years back but I never really got around to finishing the video or posting it. My current wash and go routine has slightly changed from this point in time but this routine worked for me for many years and this helped to keep my hair in optimal condition and also helped to grow my hair long and healthy as well. I'll be recording my current wash and go soon so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video but yeah let's get straight into the video right so I'm starting with an old wash and go this is about a week old and it looks dull and dry I was just fed up with it at this point so let's change that around so in this routine, I did dye my hair black first and that's the hair dye that I did use on this occasion. Um, you will need some water, you will need some oil of your choice, um, any oil that is nourishing to your hair. You will also need some leave-in conditioner and you will need some Jamaican black castor oil. I'm using the brand Sunny Hour with the lavender scent in it and some eco styler gel or any gel of your choice right so as you can see i use two oils in this routine just because i find that my hair comes out more soft when i use an oil first so what i'll do is i'll go in with a lighter oil and here i'm using jojoba oil and i'm just putting that in my hair before i go in with the leave-in conditioner so i am doing the lock method but I am putting an oil first and then I'm going in with the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner I did used to love this product especially the price <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I have changed over to some other products which I will be showing in my updated wash and go routine but yeah just going in with the Cantu and just threading that evenly into my hair as well And then I'm going in with some castor oil. My hair likes the heaviness of castor oil. I know some people can't use castor oil because it will weigh their hair down. But especially with washing girls, my hair loves castor oil. My curls just clump together really nicely. I do use it in my pre poo as well. I will have a video of my pre poo routine, so stay tuned for that video. And then lastly, I am going in with my Eco Styler Gel. I've gone through the different colours. Um, at this time, I was using the Coconut Oil one because I like the lightweight feel with this one, but it doesn't hold very well. And currently, I've gone back to using the green one, which is the first one that I've ever used. For a long time, I was using the Moroccan Oil one. And I just might go back to using that one but um no the green one's doing it for me at the moment but that combo and my hair oh it was it was amazing so when I'm putting the gel in my hair I like to section my hair off into smaller sections just so that the gel can get evenly distributed across the hair and um, I do take a little bit more time when I'm putting my gel in just so that my curls can clump together more so I'm smoothing, I'm raking and I'm doing a bit of shingling as well yeah just do anything to try and get my curls to come together <laughs> yeah just take your time with it really you can't rush this and make sure to get the roots as well because if you don't get the roots then they tend to go frizzy first and this happens to me sometimes with the back of my hair the back of my hair is a different texture as well so it's always the first part to frizz up So once all the products are in, I like to scrunch my hair so that my curls can pop even more. 
and yeah I just keep smoothing adding more gel if I need to and then just scrunching my hair especially at the front because my hair is a different texture as I said my curls are a bit looser towards the front of my hair and also when my hair dries the back of my hair tends to rise up and the front stays where it is so yeah it's really annoying but once I pull it up in the pineapple it does tend to stretch the back of my hair so it works out fine in the end Once I'm done scrunching, I like to flip my head from side to side so that the curls can separate a little bit. So I go ahead and part my hair how I like to style it, then apply more gel where the roots are just to maintain the frizziness that might occur there. And then I get the hair dryer and just dry it till it's about 80% dry. I don't actually own a diffuser or else I would have used a diffuser instead because apparently it does leave less frizz so I actually might invest in a diffuser actually so yeah just continue to dry your hair um, I'm using the hair dryer on a low speed and a low heat setting and then I like to flip my head over and dry the back that way as well I probably sit here for about 15 minutes because I use a cool setting on the hair dryer And that's how it looks when my hair is about 80% dry. And then I just put my hair up in a pineapple right at the top of my head and I wrap a headscarf around my head. Um, I don't know why I didn't recall that part. It's quite important that part, but um, I'll show you in the next video what I mean. And this is how my hair turned out the next day. And this is also after going to work and doing high intensity interval training at the gym. So this is how my hair looks at the end of the day. Um, there is some frizziness, but as I said, that's because of the cardio that I did at the gym. Yeah, I guess I guess it isn't cardio proof. <laughs> I don't know if any wash and go is cardio proof, but anyway, yeah, I don't mind a little frizziness anyway. I just look at how the curls are popping, and my hair was so soft to touch. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!